A massive amount of information about the Redmi K30 Pro launch has come out today, including some big surprises about the launch date and the setup of the phones, including the hardware and really big information to do with the camera. So as we know, the Redmi K30 non-pro uses the Sony IMX686. It's still a really new camera sensor and actually hasn't made its way into too many phones right now. This is also going to be used in the Redmi K30 Pro too, but some really amazing information today is that for the, I think, first time in a Redmi phone, Redmi will be putting optical image stabilization on its lenses. Optical image stabilization is a really good thing to have. In video, it just helps with stabilization and even with photography, it can help reduce some of the blur you get in low light conditions. However, because when Redmi make a phone, their number one concern is the price, things like optical image stabilization usually get left out. It's a good thing to have, but not entirely necessary to make the phone function. It does make a better camera experience overall, but you can understand Redmi not putting it in their phones to keep the cost down. However, according to a latest leak, one of the prototype units that Redmi has been testing has optical image stabilization, not just on the main lens, but dual OIS. So that means there is an appearance of a zoom camera too. So this is yet another feature that may have just come to light. As we know, Redmi actually took away the 2X zoom camera from the K30 and and K35G. Those two phones came with the main, the ultra wide, and then two auxiliary lenses and took away the 2X zoom from the K20 and K20 Pro. However, this leak has just confirmed that there is a prototype unit of the Redmi K30 Pro with that zoom lens. We don't know if the leaker is talking about the K30 Pro or the K30 Pro zoom edition, which is also supposed to be coming. I would suggest that this is actually the normal K30 Pro because to have a zoom edition phone, you need to offer way more than just 2x zoom, maybe up to 5x or 10x hybrid zoom. But it looks like Redmi including a zoom lens on this phone will also include optical image stabilization on that lens. Another huge bit of news today is that Redmi may actually launch the K30 Pro earlier than expected. Up till now, we knew that it was going to be launched in March and Liu Weibing from Xiaomi said that it should be launched roughly between the P40 series and the Honor 30 series, both Huawei launches. But according to a comment from a Redmi executive today, according to him, it will actually launch before the P40 series. That means the Redmi K30 Pro could possibly launch as early as next week, although this isn't a confirmation from Redmi officially, so we have to wait and see when exactly the launch will be. Even more information about the Redmi K30 Pro, according to leaks anyway, it looks like wireless charging won't make its way to the device. This is yet another one of those nice to have, but not entirely necessary bits of hardware. The K30 series and the K30 Pro is about offering those really core cool specs, like the Snapdragon 865, an AMOLED display, a decent camera, but most importantly, the lowest price for that flagship chipset. So no wireless charging on any of the Pro Series model, not even the more expensive Zoom Edition, which may be coming. In terms of fast charging speeds, Redmi just released the Redmi Note 9 Pro and Pro Max that come with 33 watt fast charging. The K30 series and the K30 Pro are more expensive phones, they're Redmi's flagships, so don't expect any fast charging to be slower than that. It may come in at the same 33 watt or even be pushed to 40 watt. We'll have to wait and see exactly what Redmi give us. How about the RAM to be used in the Redmi K30 Pro? New Way Bing put out a poll asking users if they would prefer eight gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM or 12 gigabytes of DDR4X RAM. Unsurprisingly, most people chose the most modern type of RAM, LPDDR5. Liu Weibing was slightly taken back by this as according to him, LPDDR4X and LPDDR5 RAM have more or less the same feeling when it comes to normal daily usage. Nothing official as to what RAM exactly he'll be using in the K30 Pro, but the daily usage between those two different types of RAM is probably not that big. He may try and save some costs and use DDR4X. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.